Hi, my name is Noah Gift, and I'm gonna walk you through cloud computing for data analysis, the syllabus for a course I teach at Duke in their graduate data science program. This is actually about 16 weeks of material. Uh, I've actually curated uh, resources from O'Reilly, from several books I've written, also many uh, videos that I've published to the O'Reilly platform, and also the Coursera platform as well. So really it's a comprehensive overview using of cloud computing using AWS, Azure, and GCP. And we cover topics ranging from you know what is cloud computing, uh, how to do data engineering, also how to apply ML ops to your uh, production systems to make them do predictions. And then also finally, how do you do edge-based computer vision and apply those edge-based computer visions uh, solutions to your company. So really, if you wanna go super deep on cloud computing and really have an exhaustive uh, study of every possible detail of cloud computing. Really, this is the place to go. I'm going to walk you through the syllabus and how you can participate on your own, even if you're not in the physical course. Here is the repo NOAA GIFT Cloud Data Analysis at Scale. And this is a, a course that I teach at Duke. I've taught it for several years. And you can see here that I've got uh, a whole detailed list of all the resources that you can do on your own and participate using uh, all of the different links. So here's one of the things that we'll talk about first is uh, you can enroll in this course, which is this uh, Coursera Building Cloud Computing Solutions at Scale Specialization. This is a great way to participate with this material and go deep on it. Also, I heavily reference uh, practical MLOps, uh, Operationalizing Machine Learning Models by O'Reilly. This is another resource that I refer to uh, quite a bit. And then also Python for DevOps. Uh, I also uh, extensively reference this O'Reilly book as well. So what is the syllabus uh, and how can we take a look at it? Well, a good way to get started here is to look at the week by week structure and you can follow along at home, uh, even if you're not here in, in person. So in week one, what we do is we cover the foundations of cloud computing. This means uh, really covering everything from uh, you know, what is the cloud? What are some frameworks? What are the economics of it? And you can see here's some of the readings that you would uh, start with. Uh, first, you go through the Coursera course, and then also go into the O'Reilly uh, cloud computing chapter. And then you can see here that we reference the Quick Labs, uh, Google Cloud Essentials, and also the Microsoft Learn, and also AWS uh, Skill Builder and AWS Academy. So these are common uh, resources that you'll see throughout this syllabus. And again, you can participate on your own at home. And you can see that there's a discussion a question each week, and there's also a demo. And the idea here is that by doing demos, you're going to be increasing your ability to um, have high level uh, metacognition so that you're able to know what you do know and what you don't know. And this is really the skill you get by doing demos. Week two, we cover uh, the cloud service model, things like software as a service, platform as a service, infrastructure as a service, uh, metal as a service, and serverless. And then in uh, the, the next few weeks here, we cover cloud uh, virtualization, containers, and APIs. And this actually gives us the ability to get deep into containerized uh, workflows. Uh, and then we get into cloud virtualization, containers, and APIs. So really this idea here is that you would build these microservices uh, and, and be able to deploy things with either FastAPI or Python Flask. And then in uh, week six here, you get into monitoring and logging. Really, this is an important uh, concept, and I cover uh, many different resources here for you to uh, get deep on that. And then in, in week seven, we cover uh, data engineering. So we kind of shift gears here, and we start to get into cloud-based data engineering, talk about big data systems in particular, and we talk through uh, AWS Academy Data Analytics Lab, uh, Snowflake, uh, and also get into Databricks uh, on the Azure platform. Week eight, we get into some of the principles of using command line tools with data engineering. Week nine, we actually go through and build serverless pipelines, use a lot of serverless technology. And week 10, we get into applying key data engineering tasks, do things like develop uh, cloud-based ETL, also talk about cloud databases. In week 11, we get into MLOps and, and I cover exclusively material from the Practical MLOps book. So again, you can refer to these resources on your own. This is really the intro. And then in week two, we get into how to use AutoML with MLOps. So what are the advantages of actually using AutoML technology? Week 13, we get into emerging topics. There's a lot of really interesting things happening 
in MLOps, and we, we cover some of those things like how to use TensorFlow, how to do edge-based machine learning. And then finally, we go deeper into uh, edge-based computer vision. We learn to apply computer vision MVPs, also use transfer learning. These are all topics that we cover inside of the last uh, week. So you can actually go through on your own, uh, maybe in your own college or you know on your own uh, without a university, follow along with these resources and then build these demos out. And you should be able to get a deep understanding of cloud computing as it applies to MLOps, data engineering, and computer vision.